In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the tools available within XRM Toolbox Toolkit named as ERD Schema Generator. Now, what is ERD Schema Generator? ERD Schema Generator is a tool which allows you to generate a diagram, a diagram named as Entity Relationship Diagram for the existing Dataverse table within your environment. Now, Entity are uh, kind, I would say like it is related to tables. Okay, so you have a table and all the tables within your Dataverse uh, environment uh, has some sort of a relationship with uh, some other table. Like say take for example, contact has a relationship with account and maybe uh, account might have a relationship with some other custom table which you might provision. So if you want to have some sort of a database diagram or an entity relationship diagram that you can generate using this XRM tool. It allows you to select entities on the fly. Okay, so uh, what, what are the options which you see while generating this uh, schema is like it will not load the entities or the table uh, it will allow you to load it first and then you can select it it generates database markup language code so this tool technically does not generate a diagram what you need to do is like you need to copy the database markup language code which is being generated by this tool and then process it further now you can use the dbml code in dbdiagram.io so this is a special website to generate the database diagram once you have the dbml code generated by this tool you can paste this code in dbdiagram.io and then from there you can generate the diagram now what you can do after generating those diagram is you have an ability to export to following format like a pdf format or png or svg or sql server or any other database format which is supported by this tool now this tool is generated by yonatan kohavi so thanks you are done for providing this to the community this is how the screen looks like so if you see over here here uh, on the left hand side you will see all the entities or the table for your connected dataverse environment from here you can select whatever table you want so i have selected account contacts and giri contacts once you select those then accordingly the code will get generated on the right hand side now, as you see over here in the diagram section, there is a code, which is a DBML, this database markup language code. Now you just copy that code. And then what you need to do is like, you need to go to dbdiagram.io and then paste that code. Once you do that, the diagram will get generated. Okay, so uh, let me show you in action how it works. So this is my environment, Girish Dev environment. So I'm in make.powerapps.com. And here I have set off defined table like account, uh, contact, uh, and there are other custom table like cricketers, uh, and then uh, April 2024. So I have all these tables within my environment. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to uh, XRM toolbox. So here in XRM toolbox, and I'm going to open that tool. So if I type ERD, I don't see those tools installed within my environment in XRM toolbox. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open the tools library and then search for this ERD. Then I can see ERD schema generated by Yonatan. And if I select this, then uh, it looks like this is uh, not yet installed in my environment. And the current version is 1.0.2. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to install this. Once it is installed, uh, I should be able to execute this tool. And now looks like the installation is succeeded. And now what I'm going to do is let me go back to the tool over here. And now I can see ERD schema generator. If I click on this, it says, do you want to connect to an organization first? I'll say, okay, why not? I have already made two connection, one for the dev environment and one for the prod environment. Let me connect to the dev environment. If you haven't connected or you do not have any connections, then click on new and then start connecting to whatever environment you have. You need to authenticate yourself. And once you're done, click on OK. It will start retrieving the environment from the Power Platform. And now I'm logged into the dev environment. Now here, if you see, there is nothing loaded over here. So what I need to do, I need to selectively click on this button, click on load entities, and it will load down all the 
tables or entities within the environment so from here i can pick and choose whatever uh, account table or if i want to have a contact table so i'll just search for contact and i'll i can select contact and now if i want to search something else so let me select say cricketers okay and then maybe let me check for giri contacts giri countries giri currencies giri movies and giri stones so i have selected all this custom tables and uh, predefined tables as well like account and contact now once this is done i need to click here generate diagram so if i click on generate diagram what it will do it will start generating the diagram now here i have uh, seen that once i generate it will automatically copy the items into the clipboard so let's evaluate this what it does so basically this generates a database markup language code for each and every table so for account this is the code okay now if you see for account there are table definition and the reference reference means table is linked to contact in some or the other way and that's how it is mentioned over here so that means if you read correctly table account and these are some of the fields which like the primary key and the lookup field and the references references means like a primary key foreign key reference to the contact table and this is these are the four references similarly for contact again there are like uh, five references uh, over here and all this other tables like cricketers giri contacts giri countries this is a custom table it does not have any linkages with other table okay so that's quite independent so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy it it is already copied to my clipboard so i'll just copy it again now here you need to click on dbdiagram.io okay and then it will open in the browser so what i'm going to do i'll go to the browser and i'll type dbdiagram.io now once i navigate to this particular website it will uh, allow me to generate the diagram so what i'm going to do i'm going to generate the diagram so here uh, it says create your diagram so i'll click on create your diagram and here uh, if you see over here i'll just close all this advertisement i'll just remove i'll just select everything i'll press delete and now i will just paste this okay the moment i paste it it will automatically generate this diagram on the right hand side now i can adjust it accordingly i can move account contact and all other uh, entity or the table as in uh, like however i want to uh, adjust within the screen uh, i can even uh, align the relationship if you see this relationship there is one to many many to one those kind of things i can adjust it accordingly uh, also in the bottom bar if you see you can zoom in zoom out so i can do that then you can zoom to fit i can even do that then there is auto arrange so if i click on auto arrange it will automatically arrange the tiles so it says your diagram will be automatically rearranged are you sure you want to do it i'll say let's do it uh, i can highlight the relationship so if you see here the relationships are highlighted and there is enable grid option so i can view the background in a grid format okay so this these are the options you can do now on the top bar you can even save this diagram so let me call this diagram as uh, girish dev diagram okay and now i'll click on save now what happens it will ask you to uh, authenticate right now what i can do is uh, maybe i'll just register okay so sign in with email so it's sign in with google or sign in with github so what i can do i can log in with uh, say any of my account so i'll just say girish.gmail.com that's my email address and i'll click on submit okay now it will ask me to uh, pin in the otp which is uh, sent to my gmail account uh, let me check if it has come yes it has come so and now i'm logged into uh, dbdiagram.io now why you need to log into dbdiagram.io is because if you want to save if you want to export if you want to import then you need to have the account defined okay so here now it is saved as you see over here this green icon and now what i can do i can export this to a pdf format okay so if i click on export to pdf format then 
I can see that this diagram is exported to PDF format. So if you want to ha have these kind of diagrams exported to uh, uh, for documentation purposes, then you can use PDF format. Alternatively, you can use PNG, uh, which will give you one uh, big image, uh, like a PNG format. And that's also nice. It will have this dbdiagram.io uh, watermark to it. You can even export to MySQL and SQL Server as well. So if I click on export to SQL Server, what it will do, it will give you the code .sql. So if I click .sql over here, and if I click on Notepad, you will see that these are the uh, uh, code which it generates okay so it's a create table code and then there is an alter table code as well okay for all the foreign key and the primary key reference so this is how you basically uh gen export the record into different format now alternatively you can import from sql server import from rails import from postgresql mysql uh, and then this option is uh, like a dark mode uh, and uh, like if you see here this is dark mode this is a light mode and you in fact you can even publish this to db docs as well so this is how you basically use a uh, erd schema generator tool to generate a nice formatted uh, db uh, diagram a database diagram thanks for watching